welcome to this video. Thank you so much for tuning in and sharing this now moment with myself and with one another. For those of you who haven't seen these videos before, welcome, welcome back. If you have, my intention is benevolence for all in alignment with the highest levels of love light. I'm gonna go into a little flow. Um, so I invite you just to breathe. Several messages have been coming through. I'll probably go in and out and share those. Okay, so they're showing me as we tune in and they're showing an odometer. I think it's an odometer. Is that what tells your mileage or maybe it's a speedometer? I don't know, maybe it's both. <laughs> so this is a lot of plays on words. They're showing as I tune into my odometer, ode to the meter, ode to time, Odin. <laughs> so they're showing me a lot of different um, plays on words here. As we come into our spectral analysis, our new spectrum, our new way of analyzing, analyzation, um, and there's a lot of plays on words here going from analog to digital, which I've talked about before. We are recognizing that as new waves come upon us, we are able to recognize, recognize old patterns that are being ignited again, that are showing up and representing, um, being represented to us to be steam cleaned. So they're showing uh, like old stains in the carpet are coming up. Um, because of walking patterns and it and as those stains come up we're coming in and we're steam cleaning them and we're recognizing that we can see them from a different perspective as we allow ourselves to hone in to zone in to go within to go home we recognize the steps that are being presented in front of us to then keep us from backtracking and recognize that all is now. As we come into the still point of harmony, as we come into the eye of the needle, recognizing that the storm that is brewing all around us holds intricate treasures that we may then pick up on intuitively when we recognize that we are coming from within our own fractality, our own fractal void of expectation, of acceptance, all plays on words. They're showing us plucking the heartstrings. And they're guiding me not to be overwhelmed by all the messages that are coming through right now. Because I was feeling like, wow, how am I gonna put this all into linearity? Because when I get these messages, they come through with, like they're showing me strings being plucked on the heart will allow us to come in out of discord. And then we attune with our environment is the easiest way, excuse my sniffles. Is the, ex is the easiest way for us to see what's coming through to us. As this energy moves around, as this energy moves through us, as it plays within our hair, they're showing me the hairs on a spider. <sighs> Lots of um, emotions being cleared right now, guys. We play, we oscillate, we pick up on the extrasensory, the extra dimensional, inner dimensional workings of our heart mind connection, of our heart extravaganza. They're saying, see this as food extravaganza, a buffet, if you will, of so many morsels of delight. So many morsels of our mm, uh, brick and mortar components, mortality. There is more to, um, they're showing it's like fractality, it's not mortality, yet we're coming into more oneness and unification by allowing ourselves to sit and eat, 
sit and digest our food, not um, and letting it all just kind of unfold in front of us rather than worrying about how, why, where, when, what. See the food that is being presented as a buffet in front of us. And it will then buffer out the frequencies that are not harmonious. They're showing me like the things that we don't want to eat, the things that we no longer wish, wish to digest. And they're showing a lot of people cleansing out. So this is, is in play with a lot of people are still have a lot of clutter in their field. And, um, Once we recognize that this clutter needs to be swept out to be composted, right? It allows us to make room for this buffet that we're sitting at and to recognize that we are sitting within the most abundant field many of us have ever been in. Yet many are still holding on to these old habit patterns that are literally keeping them locked in lack lack of fear. Um, so they're showing me lack of like, they're showing me it's keeping them locked into lack of integrity, lock in, uh, locking into fear. And they're showing that it's integral representation of what is happening in a lower density collective formation. So if we don't want to play in that, it's time to, to get off the subway. So they showed me earlier people riding on a subway and um, there's just tons of people going on this, this network on this fixed track and there's only certain stations or certain places. It's 11, 11 right now. There's only certain places that they're able to get off and what they're showing is people are so busy looking at their phones, they're so busy feeling trapped on this ride that somebody else is controlling that they're missing their pit stop, they're missing their stops. And then they look up and they go, oh no, I missed my exit. So what's happening is they get off on the next exit and because they're so, they have to, to go backwards and retrace their steps in order to get back to what that um, node was. So it's like there's all these bits of information that are being offered in, um, like we're able to see things differently than we were able to before if we are open to it. And if we recognize that, and they're showing me like the matrix, the movie, the matrix. So picture yourself as Neo being on the subway and all of these Mr. And no, Mr. Smith's he's Mr. Anderson. These, all these Mr. Smith's around us that are really just a distraction. They're not who we are. They're not necessarily who we want to interact with. That doesn't mean don't say hi to somebody on the subway, but they're just using this as a metaphor. Stop, get off and then maybe walk instead of taking the subway, go through the park, go through, and this isn't literal. This is a representation of people are missing the point because they're so zoned out side of themselves. They're not able to tune into this. And when you're not in harmony, um, they're showing me a symphony. They're in a symphony uh, so in heart coherence, if you're not in coherence, okay, there's several different examples that they're showing me. One is grounding. When you are the tallest tree and lightning happens or that tree holds a certain height, and I'm just using this as an example, you guys, this isn't exact. They're just a very basic example. That's the lot, that's the strongest lightning rod, right? Of course, it depends on what's going on in the ground and how strong the lightning storm is in the direction of the storm, but I'm just using that as an example. It's the same thing with heart coherence. When your field is the most coherent, strong, clean, gratitude holding field, other people tune into you. You are the tuning fork. But if you're not even tuned into your own energy, if we're not tuned into our own energy, other people are becoming our tuning forks. Does that make sense? So then we get sucked into what they are tuned into 
outside of us. This can be our spouse, our friends, our kids, whatever. If they're young children, not likely, they're probably our tuning fork because they're already tuned into to being present, gratitude, and inner joy, right? So what they're showing is it's time to remove ourselves from that environment, step inside of ourselves, and then step out. Uh, they're saying that song, stepping out with my baby. Um, so it's like re-emerging from the soup that we've been subjecting to ourselves to us, that we've been the subject of, and coming back out as the master. And once we get into that coherence, we're not able to then be pulled out off course so easily. The other example that they showed is, and I don't know if I already said this because I actually recorded earlier and then I had to start over, is a lot of people are missing the next step because they're walking down a set of stairs to lead them to some direction and they're so busy, worried about what everybody else is doing that they miss the step and fall down the whole flight of stairs. That's when accidents happen, we end up hurting ourselves.